All right, welcome back to the channel. Yes, this will be about how to quality control ammunition. And that's brand new ammunition and remanufactured ammunition. Just some things to look out for. Only reason why I'm making this, you know, what do they call us? YouTubers or gun tubers. You know, we had this little uh, code of ethics where we don't bash other gun tubers or YouTubers, but I wanted to make this one because the YouTube algorithm takes us places and you see other people's channels and there's uh, two people that I see that review ammunition and they think that the quality control is bad and they no longer like this ammunition manufacturer. So what I want to show you is uh, we'll, we'll just throw in one of the ammunition manufacturers that some of these YouTubers or one or two or both have reviewed that say this ammunition, uh, almost this specific ammunition is bad and they will no longer buy it. So understand there's lot numbers on everything, food, ammunition, lot numbers are the plant it was made at, the date, um, what kind of ammunition it is or serial brand, whatever the case is, if you will. Sometimes things go bad on the assembly line. So I just want to give you my opinion, my review, uh, just to maybe offset some of the negative ones out there. And if some of you YouTubers or gun tubers out there see mine, as far as how to quality control ammunition, feel free to let me know. Um, maybe you've had several experiences with certain brands of ammunition, or maybe just once and you decided to throw your hands up at that manufacturer. So one other thing I want to talk about before I get started, yes, we're going to get into um, the actual content here. Sometimes when you make YouTube videos, it goes with the territory, you're going to get trolled. Uh, just accept it. People are going to lash out at you. doesn't matter what you're reviewing or what your YouTube video is about. There's, people are going to troll you. So I had a troll on a video the other day I made. I won't say which one. And um, their comment was, YouTube, please fix your algorithm. Uh, something about I don't want a right wing gun nuts opinion <laughs> i know right wing and gun nut well those of you who own guns uh i would think our community is the most i hate to use the word nazi but we are nazis about gun safety and everything to do about gun safety and know when to shoot don't shoot what kind of firearm is best for you, how to stand, how to clean your firearm. We are like hardcore Nazis about our guns as far as safety and being responsible. So when people say gun nut, oh, it just cracks me up. Like they just think we're all these crazy lunatics that go out there and do bad things with our guns. Um, it's, uh, I don't know, to me, I look at it as more of a sporting tool. Um... People that fish, that carry fishing poles, are they backwoods, hillbilly, inbred rednecks? I don't know. What are those of you uh, who are maybe new to guns watching this or new to me or new to your opinion on people that own guns, we are one of the most religiously safe people about our guns. We, want to, we have to know what condition they're in at all times. And not meaning just cleanliness and functionality condition, meaning are they cocked and locked are they chambered um what holster is it in where are we carrying it and everything about gun safety so just know uh we're not crazy people that own guns uh for the most part we just like them you're gonna see something you've never seen before what is it? armory yes that is called iron mike armory it's uh made in the greater raleigh north carolina area and that is remanufactured ammunition and that is those two two three five five six you see on the far right and of course we also have some winchester white box so and those are shotgun shells so here's here's some things here's some tips i can give you on how to quality control your ammunition so the first thing i do want to talk about are these Winchester white box. 
Look at the beautiful stamping on that. Look at the beautiful crimping. Primer looks fully seated. Now, I'm going to tell you a long story short, and here's another one. This is an old one, an old slug. So it, it's been rubbing in and out of a, uh, what I call my Rambo sash for many years, but still, um, obviously there's no crimping there, but that looks seated appropriately. This is crimped underneath the slug as it should be. The stamping looks great, and uh, it looks to be fully seated. Now, if you can see the rest of those, the stamping looks great. We're going to show you the crimping looks great. These shells look very nice. So, um, you know what? Here's a full box. Oh, holy shite! Crimping. Crimping. Brass. Stamping. Looks really, really good. I always inspect my ammunition as well. So as far as shotgun shells, yes, quality control, you want to make sure the crimping is crimped. That there's no swelling somewhere in the shell because maybe they filled too much wadding. Is the primer fully seated? Um, not that it's too big of a deal, but the stamping, you know, just some things people talk about when they review ammunition. Nope. Now I gotta clean all this stuff up. See what I do for you people just to show you things for Pete's sake. Look at this mess I'm making. Now, <laughs> all right, here's some other things to look for. Um, I think, I believe we can say we have finished shotgun shells. Um, so, and I've shot tons of these Winchester white box shotgun shells. These are two Wobuck nine pellet slugs. Been firing them for years. Never had an issue. Sometimes you get a bad batch. Let's talk about remanufactured ammunition. This Iron Mike 553226. Some ammunition you don't want to remanufacture, and I'll tell you why. Some, usually with pistol rounds, most shell casings are not fully seated in the chamber. Uh, I did make a video on it, um, so I, I, I'm not gonna get too far into that right now, but with high pressure rounds, you all know I like 10 millimeter. I will not buy remanufactured 10 millimeter ammunition because right about here at the bottom of the chamber in the glocks this part right here is a little exposed that means it's not fully seated in the chamber very high pressure round so when you fire this round you're going to notice some wobbling with the empty shell casing on a table because obviously that shell has been compromised and it's going to have a little bit of a wobble so when you're buying new ammunition, that's fine. Roll it on the table, see if it wobbles. If it's wobbling, that shell casing is either a factory defect or <laughs> it's highly likely if you bought remanufactured ammunition that it's, it's a reload and that shell casing should not be fired. That, that, I'm sorry, that cartridge should not be fired because the shell casing is compromised from the extreme pressures. Another thing I do is rifle rounds. I set them on the table. I take them out of the box and I set them on the table. If when you set them on the table, if they're wobbling, then that means that the primer is not fully seated into the casing. Catastrophic, I don't know, but I wouldn't fire it because you could probably either damage your firing pin because that firing pin is set to travel a certain distance to puncture a primer. And if that primer is not fully seated and sticking out some, uh, you could probably damage your firing pin. Or once it's fired, it's going to slam into your bolt or back facing <laughs> faceplate of your handgun. I know someone's going to rip on me and tell me exactly what that part is called. Uh, chamber, breech, anyway and slam against it. So, could cause damage to the firearm. 
your firing pin and um, kind of simulate over pressurization. So these are also remanufactured. I roll these on the table and I've never had an issue with these. So roll your ammunition. I don't recommend using remanufactured 10 millimeter and I already explained why. And then of course, you know, you're, I line a bunch up, up and I make sure they're all the same height. If not, some bullets, projectiles may not be fully seated into the case mouth or some might be seated too far into the case mouth. So again, may not seat properly inside the chamber, may cause some kind of malfunctions or damage. So those are things you're looking for with quality control inspecting your ammunition. I hope this helps. Again, not bashing anyone that reviews ammo, but sometimes you just get a bad batch. Just really wish people would understand how safe us gun owners are.